Hi guys, so you boot up your PC and you're faced with an error message like operating system not found or operating system missing. Hi, my name's Brian from Brightech.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this error message. Now, this is assuming that your drive is not failed. Now, obviously this means that worst case scenario, you know, your drive has failed and it's now not working properly but there is some other steps which means the drive hasn't failed and it's actually a, a, a corrupted a master boot record or something of sorts so what you need to do first is go into the BIOS so what we're going to do is load up the BIOS and I'm going to show you once you go into the BIOS by pushing F2 or Dell on the keyboard it's going to take you into the BIOS and you need to check the primary and I, primary ID master and slave setting there and it says not detected obviously you can see the DVD rewriter now if it says not detected for the drive then obviously and you're using IDE then something's wrong obviously if it's a uh, serial ATA channel 1 as you can see the Seagate drive is being recognized there but you may just see not detected on all of these now there is a function in um, inside the actual uh, BIOS where you can actually auto detect the drive and it will actually run a scan to see whether it can find the drive okay if that doesn't work what I would do is shut the PC down and go into the actual case itself so pull the side panel off the case and actually go in there and make sure that the cables are actually pushed in and they're not loose or they've come away and make sure there's power to the unit and also another thing to check on IDE uh, uh, drives is make sure none of the pins are all bent and it's not actually working properly okay so that's one of the uh, things to check first and then the next thing I would do is I'd actually boot the PC into recovery console so you need to make sure you got your XP home CD or XP professional CD stick that in the drive change the boot order in the BIOS to uh, boot to CD and then we're just gonna reboot the PC here or the virtual machine so you can see the steps we're gonna take to fix this problem or try to attempt to fix the problem so let's reboot you will be asked to push any key like so so push that and it will enter this Windows setting up stage so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly pause this pause this and then let it load up and then join you again once it's at the recovery console so I'll see you in a sec okay this is just about loaded up now uh, there we go. So once this is loaded up, you get to this next screen which asks you to either install Windows or enter the recovery console. So we're going to push R here because we want to go into the recovery console. So make sure you push R on the keyboard. Now we're in the recovery console. Now what we want to do now is you may see something slightly different here if you've got a dual boot, but this is a single uh, hard drive so we're going to push one because we've got C code on backslash windows that's the part we want to enter so we're going to enter that we've got no administrator password so I'm going to push enter if you have you need to enter it at this stage now the first thing I like to do is a check disk obviously the first the, the main one is to do fixed master boot record but I like to do this one first check DS so CHK DSK space forward, forward slash P I like to do that one first and see if this works because it fixes a lot of boot problems and also I like to do fix boot after that so FIX BOOT and then push enter and then say wifey yes because we want to write it, a new boot sector and I normally push exit and then reboot the machine and see if that fixes it if it doesn't I, you need to come back into this um, recovery console again so go through the whole stage again and get back to this stage and then type fix uh, MBR like so and then push enter and it will say caution blah blah blah, blah. do you want to enter, uh, enter a new master boot record and you say Y for yes I'm going to push no here because I don't want to but you would put Y like so and then push enter okay but I'm, I'm going to push N for no but you need to put Y for yes and the next and then reboot the machine and see if that fixes it the next thing you can do is come back in here if this doesn't work now normally that does work 
but if it doesn't work the very last ditch thing you can do in here is uh, reboot uh, boot config so boot cfg space forward slash rebuild okay like so so push the enter on that and it will rebuild the actual like so and it will say you sure you go yes why for yes and then it will say ask for enter load identifier and in that stage you will put windows xp pro um, something like this um, windows xp pro or windows xp home push enter and then you want to put in there fast detect full slash fast detect like so and then push that in okay and that's that done exit type exit and then you let the windows reboot okay now if this doesn't work there's one more thing you can do you need to load back into windows and I'm just gonna do that now so and pretend it didn't work so we're just gonna reload windows CD so lead, load the CD up again now I'm gonna pause at this stage okay so you don't have to see all this stuff again alright so once it's loaded I will uh, I will tell you what to do so let's pause this again okay so as we've now assuming that we're in the last chance saloon here we've tried all those commands and have not worked now you need to reboot into the CD again and actually this time we're not going to push R here we're going to push enter on the keyboard to go into set up Windows XP you'll be asked to do this license agreement say F8 and you'll get this window coming up here now we don't want to push escape to put a fresh copy of windows on at this point we want to push R again to write windows over the top of the old windows and it repairs windows it doesn't delete any of your files and it will leave all your files there so this is really the last chance saloon for that also if you've got a Dell machine what you want to try as well if you've getting this operating system not found is always try to remove the memory as well and insert the memory because sometimes you get that error message operating system not found if you've got a Dell machine that is just remove the memory give it a little wipe on the on the actual uh, gold bit or the brass bit there clean it up a little bit and then push it back in and see if that fixes your problem okay so assuming this doesn't work now we're now looking to check the hard drive so I'm going to reboot and go into my tools to test the hard drive to see whether it's failed so I shall see you back in a second I'm just going to pause this and then reboot the machine okay welcome back and what we're going to do is boot into admin tools program here and I'm going to show you where you can actually now fix or scan your hard drive so basically you've got F to go into these tools now depending on what type of hard drive you've got you can use one of these diagnostic uh, tools here you would obviously have to download these if you haven't got this program but this actually has a, a load of tools that you can actually scan your drive with also which is a very good tool which I've used many times for diagnosing so you can push G and I'm going to come down to hard disk regenerator click on that and actually now I'm going to put one as you says choose drive to scan I'm going to put one in there push enter and also it now wants followed by an M so just need to put M in there and then push enter and this will now scan the drive for bad sectors and it will try and recover those bad sectors now it will basically at this stage if this shows bad sectors or bad faults with the drive you will know the drive shot and you will actually need to get a new drive but you're probably knowing this already by now but what you can do is try to use this take the drive out and try and save your data before you start mucking around with the drive that's what I will suggest is to actually take the drive out and plug it into another machine as a slave and try and get all your stuff off okay anyway I hope this has been some use for you uh, my name is Brian from BrianTech.co.uk. Uh, please leave your comments and please subscribe to my channel. That's the end of this tutorial. Bye for now.